Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting SQL clause called Qualify. Maybe you would not have heard of it many times because it is not available in all the databases today. And that's why I'm using the Google BigQuery because it is not available in SQL Server or MySQL or Postgres which are installed in my system. But it is available in like Big, BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift and Databricks, lot of other uh, cloud warehouses, right? So we will understand how it works. We will also understand that will it improve the performance of the query. So qualify clause is used along with the window functions that rank, row number, lead, lag, all those functions we use. And it can be used to write your queries faster, which means you have to write less code, you have to write less cities, you have to write less subqueries, and it will work perfectly fine. Okay, so let's see how it works and we will see the comparison of the performance. I am using this public data set taxi trips, Chicago taxi trips on Google BigQuery. So if you look at the number of rows, it has good number of rows. So we can, we can check the performance as well on that. So if I say select count star from this and if you look at the result, there are more than 100 million records, right? So if you see here. It is, it is more than 100 billion records. Okay. So it's a good, good data to check the performance impact as well. Okay. So let's get started. So my question is, so my question is this, let me get back to the data set and show you the data first, and then we will go to the question. Okay. So this is my data. Sorry again. Uh, I didn't put the limit, so it will take a lot of time, right? So I'm just canceling the query and putting back the limit, right? Because it has 100 million records. And if you simply run without a, without a filter or limit, it can really hamper the performance. So I'm just putting the limit back, limit 100. I just want 100 records and it ran quickly, okay? So remember when you are working with these big data sets, just don't run select star without any filter or limit, right? So we have the taxi data where we have unique key for each taxi trip. Okay. Then we have company, for example, Ola, Uber. Similarly, there are different companies which, which are, which provided these trips. Okay. This is the total trip amount. Okay. Trip start time and trip end time. The question is right SQL to find highest trip amount trip for each company. So for each company, we have to find that trip, which had the highest trip amount. Okay. Simple for each company separately we need. Okay. So for that, typically what we will do, we will do a row number partition by company, order by trip amount descending and then row number equal to one. Let's do it quickly. Okay. So that we, we see how much time it is taking and we will compare it with the qualify clause as well. So with city as, right, let's create this as a city. Now I will not put limit because I will have one row for each company. Okay. So limit is not required. If there are hundred companies, there will be hundred rows, right? But I need a column called row number, right? So I will say row underscore number over partition by partition by company, right? Because for each company I need separately order by order by trip total, right? and descending because need I need highest trip amount trip, right? As RN. So this is my CT and I will say select star from CT, right? Where RN equal to one, right? So this will give me all the records for each company where trip amount was highest. Okay, so let's run this. So this is now running. It is showing me the elapsed time, four seconds, five seconds, right? So it will take around, I think 15 to 20 seconds, right? So what essentially I'm doing, I'll just repeat by that time that I'm taking, taking row number partition by company so that within each company, I have separate partition created. And within that I am doing a sort order by trip total descending and generating the row number. So within each company, highest trip total one will get the row number one and then two, then three. Then I'm saying, give me records where are n equal to one. And we got the answer there are around 128 companies. So for each of the company, we are getting the amount. Okay. So this is, this is how it looks like. Okay. Fair enough. Now, one thing here is if you see there is a column RN. Now let's say in my report, I don't want the RN column. So what I have to do, 
I have to select the columns. Otherwise, R then is created, it will come automatically. So instead of select star, I will have to do this, right? That is the only difference. If I do, if I do select star or if I don't do select star, I want to tell you for something interesting, right? So, but keep in mind that if I don't want RN column in the output, I will have to specify all the columns. Okay. Let's look at the execution details. So it is taking 29 seconds. Let's note it down. So our first query took 29 seconds, right? And byte shuffled is 26.08. Okay. So let's, this is the GB, right? So this is the two important metrics to see the performance. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll write the qualify query. So I will just remove everything. This is not required in qualify. I'll just remove this and I will remove this, right? Now what we can do, we can remove even this, right? And I will directly say here, qualify. Okay. You can write in small or big, doesn't matter. Now we can use window functions directly for filtering, right? So I'm saying qualify those records where row number equal to one directly. Right. I don't have to create a CT and then write that filter separately. I can directly say qualify row number again, same partition by company order by trip total and equal to one. So this will also work as the previous query. Now, good thing is there is no extra column here, right? So I don't have to again do anything else to remove RN, right? I have not created the column. I am just directly using row number function to, to, to filter the data based on the window function. So you can use any window functions here. You can use any filter condition, right? So let me run the query and let's see how much time it will take, right? Now, if you, I would have asked you, give me top two, oh, uh, top two trips for each company based on the trip total. So you can do get less than equal to two, right? So any filter you can put as such doesn't matter, right? So it is running now again, almost 20 seconds is done. I think it will be done. But it is really very cool. If you see, you don't have to do CT now, right? CT is not required directly. You, we are writing this qualify clause. Now, only thing we have to see is there any performance implication? It, is it better or good? So again, we have got 128 records, which is absolutely same. So this, these two queries are doing the same thing. I have verified the, verified the results. So don't worry about it. Let's look at the execution detail. So if you see, this is taking 26 seconds and the, and the Byte shuffled is 25 GB. So if you see, there is not much difference, right? It is taken 29 second, 26 second. I, I don't think there is any much difference. Again, qualify also, I feel internally, it may be doing the same thing, but from the developer point of view, from the user point of view, it is, it is making your query look smaller, easier to read, right? I hope other database also introduce this especially sql server than postgres because it is very handy right you can use it without using subqueries and ct okay performance wise i don't think there, there is going to be a much difference but you don't have to worry about it when you are using because it will not be uh, worse than the one you are doing with ct okay i hope it makes sense uh, let me know in comment section how you like and is it available in your database thanks for watching have a good day